in there. Thank you. California Democratic Congressman Ro Khanna says if a deal is not reached, President Biden should invoke the 14th Amendment to avoid a debt crisis. He joins us now. Do you still stand by that? Are you pushing for that? Sandra, I do. I think in this country, the patriotic thing is to pay our debts. And this is Congress is authorization, past authorization. We've spent this money. The president should honor uh, that spending. But the, to be clear, the Republicans are not talking about defaulting on our debt. I, I'm not saying that, I'm not accusing them of that. I'm saying a past Congress has said to the president, spend this money. It's not the president who's saying I want to spend this money. It's a past Congress. And the president should say, you told me you passed this law. I'm just abiding by what Congress uh, told me to do. And I believe that would be patriotic. But we should then talk about deficit reduction. We should talk about the report on 60 Minutes last night about the price gouging with the defense contractors ripping off the American taxpayers. Start a conversation there about saving money. Okay, but the fear is if the, you just pass this with a clean deal, that that's not eventually addressed, that the spending is not eventually addressed, that it got us here in the first place, right? So how do you ensure that the Republicans are trying to make sure that happens? And, and most Republicans, as you hear them lay it out, they're, they, these, they say these are not spending cuts, these are spending caps. Can you not agree to spending caps in a deal? Not the ones the Republicans want, but I don't think that should be a separate conversation. Which one do you not way, agree with? Well, Sandra, the, the way that we ensure this is that we have an election every two years. And if the American people think that the Democrats didn't uh, reduce the deficit in good faith, they can throw us out. Uh, they can throw the president out. But what we shouldn't do is hold the country hostage. I mean, this is why we have elections. And the Republicans are free to argue to the American people that the Democrats were irresponsible. We have plans of how we want to reduce the deficit. Hold us accountable at the polls. Okay, so the 14th Amendment, uh, you're keying in on, on a phrase within the 14th Amendment that says the public debt, quote, shall not be questioned, okay? So you're, you're saying the president should use this to unilaterally continue to issue debt if Congress does not act, okay? At which point are you saying the president should step in here? Because they're about to have talks, Biden and McCarthy. Would you prefer they work this out with a deal before they move in that direction, before the president would move in that direction? Are you saying go at it now? No, I think they should work it out if possible. I mean, obviously, uh, I'm glad that the president's meeting. I'm glad that the speaker is meeting. Uh, it would be better for the country if they're able to come to uh, a reasonable uh, agreement. But uh, my view is that the president should make it clear, not just the 14th Amendment, but that he is uh, uh, just authorized to do what the previous Congresses have uh, said. This is not Congress versus the president. This is this Congress trying to abrogate what past Congresses have authorized. Let me just tell you, uh, Treasury Secretary Yellen uh, has just issued a letter to Congress. Are you aware of that letter, sir? I've seen past ones. I don't know uh, the current one, if I've, okay. I've seen that one yet. She's maintaining that June 1st is the day. That's the earliest possible default date without a debt ceiling hike. In that letter to Congress, um, Congressman, uh, she says that they'll continue to update Congress as more information becomes available. She also says that it's highly likely that the Treasury will no longer be able to pay all government obligations by early June without the debt ceiling hike. It is impossible, she says, to predict with certainty the exact date when Treasury will be unable to pay all U.S. bills. She has also gone on the record saying that it would result in constitutional crisis if the 14th Amendment is, is invoked. Do you still think well, that's a, a good idea? I have a lot of respect for Secretary Yellen. Uh, she's an economist, not a constitutional lawyer. I have uh, faith in Larry Tribe, who's a constitutional lawyer. And I actually don't even think it requires the invocation of the 14th Amendment. I mean, that's a safeguard. All the president has to say is he is following what the past Congress authorized and directed him to do, that this is what the Congress told him to do, and he's spending it. And the Treasury Department can issue more bonds uh, to be able to finance the, the government. But look, I hope they come to an agreement. If not, I believe the president can do this, and I believe the courts would hold it up constitutional. Well, to come to an agreement, both sides have to be willing to negotiate. Uh, Kevin McCarthy's shown that he is. The president's not shown. Should he? 
I think the president has been very, very reasonable. The okay. president uh, has said that uh, he's talked about cutting uh, the prescription drug costs. He Got said, it. why aren't we taxing the top 1%? Okay, real quick, switching gears, the Congressman, I also wanted to ask you about uh, California Democratic Senator Dianne Feinstein, who's facing health issues. You say she should resign. Uh, do you still stand by that, and why? I do. It's, it's just sad to watch. Uh, I have respect for her, but it's painfully obvious to everyone watching that she's unable to do the job uh, in almost any other line of work. Uh, you couldn't uh, continue to do that, and I think it's not fair to 40 million Californians, and it's not fair to the United States of America. Got it.